Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with Sheikh Hamad bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister emphasized the importance of the culture and antiquity sector in showcasing the kingdom's identity and history and commended the sector's wide-ranging achievements, including the registration of a number of Bahraini heritage monuments on the World Heritage List. His Royal Highness commended Sheikh May for her commitment during her tenure as President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and her contributions to strengthening Bahrain's cultural and historical position globally. For her part, Sheikh May expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to the culture and antiquities sector, which is vital to the sector's success in achieving its goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 36 of 2022 establishing and forming a national task force to combat chronic non-communicable diseases. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 37 of 2022 replacing the member of the Advisory Committee of the National Qualifications Framework at the Education and Training Quality Authority Ahmed Abdullah Abdul Rahim by Yasser Abdul Rahim Al Abbasi as a representative of the private sector. Yasser Abdul Rahim Al Abbasi shall serve until the end of the term of his predecessor. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the National Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued an edict appointing Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, Sheikh Fahad bin Salman Al Khalifa, and Ali Musa Al Shafi'i as representatives of Noga Holding at the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC Board of Directors. The edict shall appoint Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed Mohammed as chairman of a GPIC board of directors. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the kingdom's champions who made several achievements in the third edition of the GCC Games in Kuwait. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Labor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman, GSA Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Deputy Chairman of the Bahrain Football Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, GSA CEO Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar, Secretary General of BOC Faris Al Kohiji, and a number of officials were present. His Highness welcomed the audience and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes for further success in their sports march. His Highness expressed pride in their achievements that add to the series of Bahraini sports accomplishments thanks to the support and care of His Majesty the King and support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which enhanced the status of the kingdom on the global level. He also praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in this regard. He affirmed keenness to continue support all sports through different plans and programs that aim to push the sports march towards further accomplishments. Dr. Askar delivered a speech in which he praised the achievements of the kingdom in the GCC Games. He affirmed that these achievements reflect the support of His Majesty the King and the follow of His Royal Highness as well as the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting the sports march of the kingdom to achieve the aspired goals and raise the status of the kingdom globally. BOC Secretary General delivered a speech in which he affirmed that these honorable achievements are thanks to the support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness and His Highness Sheikh Nasser that enhances the march of Bahraini sports towards further accomplishments. He praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting national clubs which led to numerous achievements regionally and globally in various events. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid and hailed the efforts of the Kingdom's Championships.
the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited Bahrain Club Project in Muharraq Governorate. His Highness Sheikh Khalid directed concerned authorities to expedite the completion of Bahrain Club Project, which aims to maintain and restore the main building of the club that was established in 1936. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed his keenness on supporting Bahrain Club, which is considered a major national sports landmark with its role in shaping Bahraini sports. His Highness noted the role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa through his presidency of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in developing the sports sector and the empowering of all sports institutions. His Highness also noted the importance of taking care of all aspects of the club's needs, directing the concerned authorities to cooperate and coordinate to fully meet the requirements of the project to fully resume its activities. He stressed the need to preserve the features of the club, which became part of its identity. For his part, the chairman of the Bahrain Sports Club, Dr. Abdurrahman Rashid Al Kharsham, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his direct follow-up on the project and for his directives to expedite its completion. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed the Financial and Economic Theme Future Aspirations Workshop in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. To begin identifying the mechanisms and priorities that will form the future aspirations of government action, the minister affirmed the importance of increasing the public sector's participation in achieving the goals of the comprehensive developmental process led by His Majesty the King and in increasing readiness to address various development requirements through continuing the development of government performances. He added that the future aspirations workshops are the pillars of continuing the comprehensive development process in the kingdom. Sheikh Salman affirmed that the efforts to increase financial and economic achievements will continue and that the views presented at the coordination meeting of the financial and economic theme workshop will be adopted. He announced that the development of 21 policies and initiatives as part of the financial and economic theme of the Future Aspirations workshops. He stressed the importance of the solidarity of Team Bahrain to continue the efforts of economic diversification and enhancing initiatives that support financial and developmental sustainability. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed Zayani, participated in a press conference on the sidelines of the Higher Committee meeting for the Integrative Industrial Partnership being held in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. During the conference, the Partnership Higher Committee members highlighted the role of the agreement will play in promoting the growth and integration of value chains and trade between their states. They affirmed their country's commitment to adopting joint initiatives and projects while facilitating joint investments in the industrial sector. Minister Zayani highlighted Bahrain's objectives of cementing ties between the member states to further develop industrial sector. He stated that the government has launched the Industrial Strategy 2022-2026, which aims to develop the sector through different initiatives, including establishing a new industrial zone and seeking to attract foreign investments by encouraging industrial projects and partnerships. 
The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'il al-Mubarak, visited the municipal service centers in Hamad Town in Budaya. The minister affirmed the continuation of developing municipal service centers to enhance the quality of government services provided to citizens and residents. He noted that the ministry's goal is to provide the best services according to the highest quality standards. Al Mubarak stressed the ministry's keenness to develop service centers and motivate employees to be more creative and to excel in providing highly satisfactory services. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf al Maouda, paid an inspection visit to the Ahmed al Fatih Center. He stressed the historical status of the Ahmed al Fatih Center, noting its agricultural style, which reflects its beautiful Islamic agriculture uh, architecture. The minister was updated about the facilities of the Ahmed al Fatih Center, as well as the services that are provided around the clock at the Quran Science section, the Library and the Department of Visits. He praised the efforts of the staff in charge of the mosque to provide services to tourists who visit this landmark historical monument, stressing the ministry's keenness on developing different facilities. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bint Ahmed Aramehi, conducted an inspection visit to the Aramli suburb, where she was briefed on the project of the Government Land Rights Development Program and the sites allocated to them, which are 16 main sites in the suburb. Aramehi affirmed the continuation of implementing housing projects included in the Land Rights Development Program launched by the Ministry of Housing in partnership with the private sector. The minister explained that this partnership comes with the aim of providing innovative housing options and solutions ensuring the speedy provision of housing units to citizens. She stressed the importance of providing all services in the existing projects in a Ramli suburb where the Urban Planning and Development Authority contributed to preparing a number of suitable sites for this purpose. The minister noted that the Ramli suburb project is one of the integrated housing projects providing 4,261 housing units. She affirmed that the ministry will continue to implement new phases of projects and support initiatives to diversify housing options for citizens. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament and Chairman of the Arab Observatory for Human Rights, Adil al assoumi met with the United Nations Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nada al nashif and the accompanying delegation. During the meeting, the Speaker of the Arab Parliament affirmed that the vision of His Majesty the King has strengthened the Kingdom's status at all levels. He hailed the tireless efforts made by the government of Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which made Bahrain's experience in the field of human rights an exemplary one at all levels. The Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center has named Sultan and Nayadi as the first Arab astronaut to join the six-month mission to be at the International Space Station to be launched in the first half of 2023. The President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, affirmed that the UAE strives to consolidate its position in the space field with the will, determination and ambition of its people. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, announced the designs of the Lion City in the Neom Project, a civilizational revolution that puts human first, providing an unprecedented urban living experience while preserving the surrounding nature. In January last year, the initial idea and vision of the city were launched which uh, redefine the concept of urban development and what cities of the future should look like. 